Renato was thrilled. The scientists seemed to think he'd put the Sky Ripper together right. But one toad was worried. Yeah, a Sky Ripper could tear a hole in existence itself. There are invisible strings that tie the universe together. If Sky Ripper cut one, the hole would widen and widen till our whole existence fell into it. Another toad sighed. Oh, Irving still believes in string theory. At least go see Calaveras. Hmm, yeah, said the worried toad. He knows more than anyone else has forgotten about the Transcendent Emperor. If anyone could tell him how to use this weapon safely, it would be Calaveras. It was he who had told Renato how to find it in the first place. But maybe he had to give up on using it as a weapon. Maybe he had to go to the secret rebel base and ask the generals there what he could do with a weapon that he dared not use. should have known he'd have to consult Calaveras again. The scientists at the observatory were smart enough, but what did they know of the transcendent emperor? He hoped it wouldn't delay him too long. The rebels had scheduled the final battle soon. Every day they delayed risked the exposure of the secret base, and some soldiers were already drifting back to their homes and families. Calaveras would fix the Sky Ripper for him, and then he would win the final battle. Maybe it was the cold, but after a few steps, Renato's optimism started to slump. What if Calaveras couldn't help? Did Renato dare use the Sky Ripper? Oh, he hated that he had chosen this path. It was so much simpler to rescue friends and attack enemies. Even if some of those friends were more trouble than his enemies, some of those enemies had been friends before and might be lovers after. No, okay, it wasn't all that much simpler, no. Physics made his brain hurt. That, at least he was sure of. tried to focus on the now. The ravens who seemed everywhere all the time. Where did they hatch from? Were there giant raven hatcheries somewhere, or did they have families? Ooh, he didn't want to think about raven mummies raising their darling raven chicks. Yeah, Calveras would help. 
He would make Renato feel better about using the Sky Ripper. And then Renato wouldn't have to worry about Ravens ever again. Mysterious sword from the east made you so fast you could catch a fly with your chopsticks. If that's what you really want. learn to cook this way? Mm, probably not. No skateboarding, the sign said. Renato had sacrificed a friend for the Skyrim. It would be worth it if he could bring a super weapon to the rebellion, but the scientists had ruined everything. Have you ever felt you were just going around in circles? Bernardo felt like that.
Maybe it was the cold, but after a few steps, Renato's optimism started to slump. What if Calaveras couldn't help? Did Renato dare use the Sky Ripper? Oh, he hated that he had chosen this path. It was so much simpler to rescue friends and attack enemies. Even if some of those friends were more trouble than his enemies, some of those enemies had been friends before and might be lovers after. No, 